Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning how to do a tiger nut drink. So we're making it from the tiger nuts. We have the dates and we are going to be using one coconut. So in this video, I used the dry tiger nuts. I soaked it overnight just to make it soft because the dry tiger nut is already dried. And um, the more reason is I'm going to be using my blender for this and you don't want to overwork your blender but i will advise you to use um, the fresh tiger nuts because it's softer and it's more juicier so pick out the deaths from the tiger nuts rinse it in a clean water because you might be having some stones underneath i'm using coconut one coconut shred your coconut and get it ready for blending this is to not to overwork my blender. So I've gotten one coconut ready. I also have my dates. These dates, I realize when I buy them, some of them are softer, some are dried. But whichever one you buy, just cut it into two, remove the seed in between it, and um, cut, the, cut it into two and soak it a bit. This soaking it is just to make it softer and help your blender blend it well so for this drink we're going to be using uh, four to five cups of tiger nuts one coconut and um, one cup of dates now pour your tiger nuts into your blender add some water and blend it In between the process, you just had your coconuts. You can divide into two batches or three batches, depending on how strong your blender is and how much it can accommodate. Blend it till it's smooth and pour in a clean bowl. Now I have my dates here already soaked in water and the dates is serving as my sweetener. You will realize that didn't mention any form of sweetener or any form of sugar. This date is, add, is serving as my sweetener. And you also realize that I'm not blending the dates with the tiger nut so that I can get all the goodness from the dates because I'm going to sieve this separately now get a clean sieve pour your already blended tiger nuts into it to get the milk out of it now fresh milk from my tiger nut drink Now this is my dates, pour in the seed too and get out all the goodness from it. I don't just want to pour it into the tiger nut drink because I'm having some shafts from it. You will also notice I'm using the same tiger nut drink, the milk, to sieve the dates. This is to avoid it being watery. So the same milk I got from the tiger nut, I'm using it to sieve out the dates, the juice from the dates. Your tiger nut drink is almost ready. Just trying to get out all the juice from the dates and it is ready. You can throw that out and my tiger nut drink is ready. So you mix everything in and we are ready to drink. So chill it because it's best served chilled. Serve in your cup 
and enjoy. Thank you for watching.